itch. Thank you. Tickle itch. Crap. Makeup. What's up, Taters? Ken Vandal here. Today, we're talking about the Hornet Slingshot by Zachary Fowler. Stick around. All right, like we said, today we're talking about the Hornet Slingshot by Zachary Fowler. And I've got to say, I'm excited about this one. I'm as excited as a monk at a toupee rally. <laughs> I mean, I've had this for a couple days and I can't even put it down. This is a really great frame, but we're going to talk about it. But before we get into that, if you haven't heard of Zachary Fowler, um, what's wrong with you? I mean, Zachary Fowler, he's a slingshot enthusiast. He, he does bushcraft. He is a, uh, a, a survival guru. In fact, he won season three of History's Naked and Afraid. Oh, that was worth it. I mean, alone. My bad. Now, I've been eyeballing this frame for a long time, and I don't know why I haven't pulled the trigger on it, but I'm glad I did. But I want to tell you how it came. Um, now, I'm not saying this is the way it's going to come to you. This is the way it came to me. I, I ordered the frame, ordered a couple other things, but the frame itself, it came with, obviously, the frame. Look at that cool picture. Everybody in my family said that was me. I guess we can. But anyway, it came with the frame. It came with a cool sticker. <laughs> These are awesome. Um, I've ordered a couple things from, from Fowler's Makery and Mischief and comes with a sticker and a autographed baseball card, I guess. Um, these are really neat. I've got a couple of these and it comes with an instruction manual so you don't shoot your eye out. Now, like I said before, I'm really digging this slingshot and I want to get into the specs of it. But before we do, let me give you a size comparison because for some people, size matters. Oh no, he didn't. What I have here is the Sparrow Slingshot. This was a collaboration between Zachary Fowler and Nathan Masters of Simple Shot. It's also another brilliant frame. But for those who have this, here's a size comparison. They're about the same size. As you can see, medium size frames. And that's cool. Now, this slingshot has some really cool fle fleetures. What the heck's a fleecher? Now this slingshot has some really cool features. Features. Let me show you its features. One of those features being these grips. This is called stabilizing flocking, is what they called it. No, not flogging. Stabilizing flocking. Never heard of that before, but this thing's got some flocking on it. Also, this is probably one of the most pocketable slingshots I've ever used. You will have no problem getting this through airport security. Not at all. It also comes in a variety of different colors. You can get it red, I think green, green and tan, red and white, blue, uh, just all kinds of colors. Check it out on the website. And also, this thing is made from HDPE. You know what that is? Don't even lie, you, don't, you have no idea. High density polyethylene. Now here are the dimensions. You got five inches from here to here. You've got three inches from the outside to outside and you got two inches on the inside. And the weight is 1.40 ounces. And this all comes in a very compact medium package. There's nothing wrong with medium. That's what she said. <laughs> Now, I've already got this thing banded up. It's got some Simple Shot Premium Black 0.5 latex, and I've got this GZK N8 positioning pouch you can also get from Fowler's Makery and Mischief website. And we're gonna go outside, take a couple shots with it, and uh, see what this thing can do. Let's go.
Now, as you can see, this thing's a blast to shoot. Now, if you'd like to get one, just go down in the description below. I got a link to Filer's Makery and Mischief website. Go order you one. I promise you, you'll thank me later. While you're down there, check out the link for Slingshot Mastery. It will be the best slingshot dollar you ever spent. And there'll be some links to Simple Shot for some other great slingshot products. But that's going to just about wrap it up. I hope you go out and get you one of these. And um, until we meet again, get out there and bust some cans. We'll see you next time.